Uh, morning. <laughs> so it's Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, April 24th, 2018. And, uh, oh man, the, uh, one of the most difficult parts, uh, at least right now in this, this journey is the, uh, this body soreness that I have. So when I wake up in the morning, oh man, it feels, uh, specifically in my bones and my joints. It feels like, uh, you know, I ran a 10K yesterday, or it's just somebody beat me with a baseball bat. Uh, but I'm just eternally sore. Like, interestingly enough, I was, uh, I, I talked to a lot of people on my uh, uh, various platforms, a, a YouTube channel, on my amyloidosis channel. There was a gentleman yesterday who was talking about, he was uh, also on Venclexta, which is a, a drug that I'm on for the 1411 chromosome switch. And it's really for multiple myeloma, even though I have amyloidosis. And uh, there was another gentleman that, I, that was talking to me yesterday, and he's on the same thing. So, you know, we're kind of like pioneers. We're uh, definitely guinea pigs here. Uh, but he noticed, he's on a full dose. He's on eight, 800 milligrams a day. I'm on 400 a day. And he said that his body is just sore. So, <clears throat> now that I know that it's, uh, it's not real, now that I know that it's drug-induced, then I'll just uh, I'll push through this because... Uh, man, it sucks, but it's all good, it, you know. Um, when I started going back to the gym in October, uh, that was a big thing for me. I was in the gym, and I hadn't been in the gym for probably a year, year and a half, because I was so tired and just so weak. And so when I went back in October and I started to feel better, I was just, you know, wasn't lifting a lot. The point is, like, literally since October of 2017, uh, from someone who's going to the gym, my weight, like lifting or anything, has not moved a bit. Imagine, I mean, if 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 working out wasn't a habit or a hobby of mine right now, there's no way that I would do it because, I mean, who wants to go to the gym every day and not see any kind of progress as far as your strength? So, you know, that that's one of the challenges. I think that if, if I wasn't uh, just built the way I was, I would just I would just quit going to the gym, but it's it's been a habit and a hobby of mine since uh, since I stopped playing basketball. I've been working out every day since I was in, in high school, so I just keep doing it. So it's really what I know, and I think it's helped me, even though I'm really not able to tell. I believe, I believe consistency uh, and exercise are good things, so I just keep rolling, so. But there's no way I would keep doing it if it just wasn't something that I do. So anyway, uh, that's my update. I mean, overall, my mindset's good. Things are going well. Business is good. I got some great projects going. I'm just uh, really sore. And, 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 and then on some other news I'm not sure about is uh, I heard through the grapevine that the uh, Prothena, which is the company that makes the double-blind study that I'm on for the synthetic antibodies, I, I heard that they stopped. It's called the NEOD trial and I heard they stopped the NEOD trial because there wasn't any evidence that was happening. So a lot of people were really excited about this drug. As a matter of fact, I, I did a uh, proposal for this marketing company. Uh, they paid me some money to help them design a proposal because for Prothena, which is the company, because they were going to take this drug nationwide as a, a, a fight against uh, amyloidosis. Um, but I guess the clinical studies weren't good and they shut down the yeah, they shut down the, the trial. Now there's more than one of those trials. I'm not sure which trials because I haven't got word yet, but I've read multiple things yesterday that Prothena is cutting off the NEOD double blind study. So oh um, again, that would just take the, the, the <laughs> that would just take the um, I just take the air out of you. So I find that what I'm right now in my life, there is uh, I have a hard time finding words sometimes. So you know, I'm not sure if it's the the healing serum that I'm taking that's you know building up in my system, or if it's early on Alzheimer's. I don't know, but during conversations, uh, not not when I'm working because I'm doing keynotes, man. I'm I mean I know that material left and right and. I've done it thousands and thousands and thousands of times. So it's just really what I'm having a regular conversation. 
uh, with somebody or, or like this where I would just lose my mind. And uh, so that's, that's interesting. So I'm watching that and uh, that doesn't make me feel good, but that's what's happening. All right, y'all, that's my update.